So hello friends, today uh, in this series as you know that we are learning few calculation techniques. So today's uh, video is dedicated towards multiplication by 11. So in today's uh, video we are going to look at or find out how uh, a two digit, three digit or even for that matter decimal numbers are multiplied by 11. Do we have some quicker techniques to calculate it? So first we will see uh, what is the standard method, what you have learned since your childhood. So let's say if you have a number like uh, 45 and you want to multiply this by 11. So the usual standard technique is uh, the long multiplication method is you take this unit space 1 and multiply with 5 and then 1 goes to 4 and it is 45 and then in the next case you take this 1 into 5 and instead of writing here you write it here. So it is 5 again and 4 like that and then you sum them up you get 4, 9, five. Now uh, the same technique, the same same multiplication can be done with a a uh, new technique or some alternative method which, which you can do mentally as well if you do a little bit of practice. So what do we do? So let's say I have the same number 45, then what to do? You simply write this number down 5, this digit 5. Then what you do is you add these two. So what do we get? 9. So you have to write 9 over here and then simply take this here, it becomes 4. So if you, if you see, the product what I got here is 495 and this is 495 again so both of them are same. So what I am trying to say is this is a quicker method uh, it might not be appearing for a small two digit number but as the number grows in size for example if I take a two three digit number so let us say 343 and then it has to be multiplied by 11 yeah so using our usual method it is 3 you write 4 and then 3 so 1 into 3 1 into 4 and 1 into 3 and then again the same uh, process repeats and this is how you do it and then finally you sum them up. So 3773 is the answer. Now using our new technique what we can do? So let's say again 343 is the number. So what do we need to do? You take this unit's place here, 3 add 3 to 4, you will get 7. So 7 is written over here. Then this 4 to 3 again you add, you will get 7 again and this 3 so 3773 yeah so this can be repeated or this can be used for any two digit three digit or for that matter any digit number so let us take another you know a bigger number and let's check whether this holds true now we are going to check a larger number and uh, we are going to see whether the same technique works here also so let me take number like 132241 let's say i have to multiply this number by 11 so our method says, okay, you write this one directly here, then add these two, you get 5, then add these two, you get 6, this one 4, this one 5, this one again, you get 4, and finally this digit 1. So hence the answer is 1454651, right? So what did we do? We just took this one here, then added 1 to 4, we got 5. 4 plus 2 is 6, 2 plus 2 is 4, then 2 plus 3 again is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then this number 1 here. So uh, if you are very, you know, if you have done a lot of practice, you don't even need to write anything, you just need, you can do it mentally. Let's try another number. So let's say I have 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? I have to multiply this with 11. So what do I need? I know it is 5, 9, 7, 5, 3, 8, 7. How? So this 5 comes here, then 5 plus 4 is 9, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 7 is 8, and then finally it is 7. So 7835795. Seven, this can be used for decimal numbers as well. What do I mean? So let's say you had the same initial number, instead of 45 you had 4.5 and you had to multiply this by 11 so so you ignore the decimal and do the do the calculation normally so hence what what happens so 5 comes here then 5 plus 4 is 9 and then this 4 comes here so 4 and let's count how many places after decimal so it's 1 so here also it will be 1 and hence the answer is 49.5 now one question would be there in your mind what if if I when while adding two digits I have a number or a, a number which is more than nine so in 
that case you will get two digits how to take care of such calculation let's take an example so what we are going to do is we are taking a number where when we are adding the consecutive digits the, the sum is more than 9 so let's take an example like 347 so I have to multiply 347 by 11 so what do I do I will you know I will be writing let's say 11 here so that it becomes easier to write so what do I do I follow the same process 7 then if you add 7 plus 4 you will get 11 now obviously we cannot have two digits here but we'll then we'll retain only the units place digit 1 and write 1 as carry so this was the sum 11 if you see 7 plus 4 is 11 I wrote the units place digit here and the tens place digit is taken as carry now again sum this up so 4 plus 3 7 you write 7 underneath this one and then continue and then the last is 3 which will come here so it is 3 7 1 7 but no there was a carry so you add this carry to here so it is 7 1 8 3 yeah it might appear that okay it is you know uh, a lengthier process but then as I said if you practice a lot you don't need to write anything you can do it mentally so uh, again another number could be let's say 2 4 6 into 11 I have to multiply this so what do I get I again put 6 here then 6 plus 4 is 10 I can write only 0 so 1 is carried now 4 plus 2 is 6 so 6 is here and 2 so the answer is 2706 okay now uh, let's take a larger number maybe so let's take let's take another bigger number and see whether it is uh, helping us or not so let us say we have 237642 this is a number I have to multiply this by 11 so what do I do so simply you write 2 then 2 plus 4 is 6 4 plus 6 is now 10 so again I have to write 0 and 1 will be carried like that 6 plus 7 another two digit number is 13 so you write again 3 over here and 1 carry right and then 7 plus 3 is 10 another two digit number so you write 0 1 carry 3 plus 2 is 5 and then this 2 comes over here so 2503062 but no you have to adjust the carry so hence every everywhere where there was a carry you will have to add them so 2614062 is the answer now if it, it if it had any decimal uh, in between then you can count the number of digits after the decimal and adjust in the product accordingly so this is how you can multiply any number with 11 with ease uh, with much ease and this will be helpful if you are facing any competitive exam like cat maybe you know in any of these aptitude tests which requires for example ntsc for 10th graders is one exam where you need faster calculation so you it will be a quite helpful tool if you are writing all these aptitude tests thank you